In this video I want to talk a bit about how we can optimize and check geometry that we import in different formats and in different ways into Ecotech analysis. So we'll take a look at how we can import 3D CAD geometry and how we can work with the geometry that we have imported. I've now opened the conceptual environment with inside Ecotech and I want to show how we can optimize two different kinds of geometry. Here there is some, some really building geometry, some roofs and some floors that I imported from Revit. It's a really good methodology that I'm using sometimes to split up the model to import the floors and the roofs for itself and then importing the walls without the windows. First of all it makes lesser triangles in the geometry and it's bit more easy to handle and sign on materials and just hide them out and turn them off here in uh, with inside Ecotech because when we go to the 3D editor because these elements have uh, two uh, they really have a face surface on the sides and the, in the bottom and stuff like that because that's how geometry are with inside uh, Revit where this model come from so the first thing I want to do is that simply mark this model out and go to modify and say merge confident triangles that's something that you can you can do when you import the model and now you see that i have a much more logical and valid model that i can use with inside ecotech so just a bit easier to take it a bit step by step in instead of just importing the or importing the mo whole model at one time so pretty simple uh, it's also a good approach is to take the model into 2ds max design because when you have had it in there, it's 2ds Max Design, it's a bit better for understanding and translating geometry. And then you can export the geometry from there as a 3ds file and then bring it into Ecotech as a 3D CAD geometry. So let's just turn this off and let's take a look at where things get a bit more complicated. So I just from Revit exported a building information modeling as gpxml and now i want to take in here sorry it's something a lot of this and is in danish but normally it kind of figures out from the orientation what kind of elements these are and if you can see here that this is a basic wall this is a wall okay that's good but this here that's not a panel that's my glazing so i want to go to material and set that as window go to my window and set that window again and of course I can do multiple to go down here and say okay all of these are windows to do this export and import a gpxml file takes a bit of prep work in with inside Revit because some elements are not too happy about uh, that import curtain walls for example so now that I set up the model I'm ready to import it into Ecotech Analysis and now I really have imported this cool model one really annoying thing is that it's grouping <laughs> by levels in here and sometimes when I have multiple proposals in here I don't want to group them so what I have to do is go here and then simply go and remove all of these elements from group to place them in another group but just to show how this is working I can mark these two out and I just say isolate selected zones and that's really a good way because it's when you get into the 3D editor you'll see that it's much easier to handle these components here. So let's start out just marking the geometry and go to modify, merge confident triangles like that and go to visualize to make sure that that's okay. That's really something that you can do a couple of times but just be aware that there is a possibility that you will remove some of, some of the geometry here. And of course you can go to the visualize tab if you want to see the zone color to, to know what zones you're working with. And then we can go into the 3D editor and begin to optimize the geometry. First of all, windows are linked to the wall. So we have to make sure that these windows are linked to the wall. We can do that by go to link. And now we're pretty sure. If I just mark the whole thing out here and I say link, really that's not what I'm looking for. So um, you have to mark out the wall and link the elements to here if it's not done by the program. And one great way to just check this out is to use here fix links. And just instead of having these two up here turned on you just mark out these two here and then you can just fix the link that way so now you can start working with your geometry it's really it doesn't matter that these two surfaces here are divided in two but you'll see that a lot of times it really turns the surface the wrong way so control r then 
you're flipping the surface and space, then you can shift from the nearest element. So I'm just saying, okay, this is the wrong way, control R. Another great way to flip all the surfaces in one category at the same time is go to select by element type and say ceilings. And if I haven't, hadn't flipped these before, I was now able to just say control R and then flip all the surfaces again. Okay, I might not need to have these two divided into two. So I, I want to delete this surface here, double click this to go into node mode, and then I can just drag and select these two nodes and then say control R and now I update that zone. Pretty important that we have validated geometry when we're working with things like uh, thermal analysis to have validated results. So now I can just say, okay, how the that's not a hole. I want to merge this into one surface and I can just simply go delete some of this geometry here. Really not what I'm looking for here. Let's just do it like, sorry. Let's leave one behind and just double click it and take the node and then just drag it over here. If you are missing a node or you want to just simply delete a node, you can do that by adding a node and click the line and then like that. If you want to delete a node, mark it out and say delete a node. So that's just a, a quick way and something that you'll have to do to really use the geometry that you imported. That's really the way to go about it. It's a bit tricky, but uh, I think to just use that methodology, it's not that difficult to do it in the right way. Thank you.